All right, guys, today we're going to start our research for our science project. Okay, um, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to start by filling out these top boxes here. Some of these boxes will look very familiar because you just filled them out yesterday um, when you shared your link with me on that central Google Doc. Um, but you're going to put your group member names. If you're just working by yourself, you just put your name here. Okay, um, you're going to put the link to your science project. So you're going to go find your Google Slides that you made a copy of yesterday. Okay, so whatever copy you made, you're going to go up here, copy that link, and then go back to here and paste it in this box. Okay, um, your science project topic will go here. So just tell me like a brief synopsis of what you are doing for your science project. Um, yesterday, I used an example of I was researching NASA. So I would type NASA here. Okay, so just give me a topic. And then you're going to tell me which type of project you're doing. So you can just type experiment, investigation, demonstration, or research project, or invention right here. And then just tell me yes or no if you're entering the BRE Science Fair with this project. Okay. And then you're going to scroll down to this KWL down here. Okay. So these are the same links if you noticed um, on our journal Google Slides. So you will be using these links to your research. We're not going to start our actual um, research with these links today. That's actually going to be your um, assignment for tomorrow, okay? All we're doing today is we are going to fill out this beginning part of your KWL, okay? Um, we have done these before in class, but if you remember, the K stands for no, the W stands for want to know, and the L stands for learned. Okay, we are just going to fill out this orange and pink box today. Okay, so you are going to tell me everything you already know about your topic. Okay, so anything you already know. Um, so if I'm doing my project on NASA, I know that they are astronauts um, that study outer space. So maybe I will type that here. Okay, so anything you already know about your topic. Okay. You're going to brainstorm as many ideas that you already know here. There's no limits, okay? But each time you um, do a new one, you're going to do a new bullet point. So if you forgot how to do bullet points, it's right up here. Also, if you press enter, oops, for some reason it's not doing it there. But um, actually, I think it's because it's in a table. So you're going to need to do a bullet point for each um thing that you already know about your topic. If the bullet point gets confusing, you can just use a dash like this or a star, okay? Just so I know that they're separate um, things that you already know about your topic, okay? Then in this middle box, you're going to list anything you want to know about your topic. So this middle box is probably the most important box of all because this is where you're going to be getting your research questions from, okay? So remember, every good project starts with you being curious, okay? So list any questions that you're curious about your topic that you want to know, okay? Um, I would like you to list at least five questions that cannot be answered by a yes or no, okay? So you don't wanna have questions. I mean, you can have some questions like this, but I don't want all of them to be like this. But this is a, not a very good question that I'm going to show you. So if I'm doing NASA and I want to um, research, maybe my question is, um, do astronauts go up more than once a year to space? Okay, that would be a yes or no question. That's fine if you want to ask it here, but make sure at least five of your questions are not yes or no questions. Okay. Um, maybe you want to ask a question like, how come scientists can't go up into space more than once a year? Okay. Um, questions that are more open-ended like that will give you better research. Okay. Do not worry about this green box yet because this is what we're going to fill out the, at the very end of our project. You're going to talk about everything you learned here. So we're just focusing on the orange and the pink boxes today. Okay. So what you know and what you want to know. And remember that pink box should be full of questions. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Don't worry about starting these research notes yet. These should look very similar to Colorado Day though. 
um, we will talk about that tomorrow. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.